England in the 19th century. Victoria is on the throne. The nation is at its height. And yet, behind the glow of this supposedly golden age, there lay hidden human misery and extremes of depravity. Baby farming flourished and businesses were set up around the country. Newspapers ran advertisements offering money for children or expecting mothers, who were then put out on the street again once the child was born. This, in that glorious Victorian era of grand buildings and statements of imperial power. Amelia Dyer learned of an easy way to earn a living, using her home to provide lodgings for young women who had conceived illegitimately. But instead of farming them out for adoption, many died from starvation, malnutrition and neglect. And so the babies came and Amelia let them starve. But she didn't leave it there. She starved them, dumped them, drowned them, strangled them and became the most prolific female murderer in history. In many cases, Amelia took some white edging tape used by dressmakers, wound it twice around the baby's neck and tied a knot. The child died ever so slowly. Sometimes the neck would snap. She was later to say, I used to like to watch them with the tape around their neck. Amelia was hanged by the infamous executioner James Biddleton at Newgate Prison on the 10th of June, 1896. Her last words were, I have nothing to say. At 9am, she dropped.